Hey everyone, so today I am back with another how-to video on how I create my ombre lipstick. When I wear an ombre lip, I love to pair lights and darks or different colours together to create a perfect three-dimensional lip look. So if you want to know how I create my ombre lip with lipsticks, lip liners and liquid lipsticks, then keep on watching. So the first way I'm going to show you is using lip liners. And I've got a couple here from Essence. I've got Femme Fatale, which is a gorgeous sort of cherry red. And I've then got Soft Berry, which is a sort of plummy shade. So what I'm going to do is... I just sort of applied some uh, concealer or foundation over my lips just to get a nice precise application. First of all I'm going to go in with the red shade and you're basically just going to line your lips with the lightest colour how you would normally when applying lipstick and obviously you just want to line your lips how you would personally prefer your lips. So if you want to overline your lips then overline your lips now and fill in that area. So like if I overdrew my lip here you want to fill in that area down to the lip area. Now you don't have to take this light shade all the way into the corners but it's just going to help give me my shape so I can see if the shape is correct before going in with the darker shade. That's how I find it easiest to apply personally. Okay, so now that I have lined my lips completely with that light shade, I'm going to go in with the darker shade. And for this, I'm going to fill in all of the lip, and I'm also going to go over the lip line as well, and fill all the way into sort of about here and peter it out. This is just going to give it a nice sort of ombre look. where you've applied all of that dark shade you do kind of want to go over the original lip line that we did otherwise you'll get quite a sort of stark contrast you'll see that red line and then I'm going to go back in with that red and we're just filling in the area that has no product and also overlapping over the darker pencil I'm overlapping it quite far in, but not all the way into that inner corner, just to give it a nice blended ombre look. So this is just a really sort of subtle ombre um, lip with the use of pencil products. I'm also going to amp up a little bit more by using a black eyeliner. Now if you use this on your eyes and your lips, you want to sharpen it in between, I will just throw that out there. But this, I'm going to apply on the outer corners just to really intensify this look. I used, I believe it was even this colour when I did my red velvet lip tutorial at Christmas time and um, I had a couple of people asking me to do another tutorial on that look. So I'm just going to apply this black to the outer corners of my um, lips just to make it an even more intense ombre. And with any colours that you do you can really intensify anything. You could go in with the palest pink um, lip pencil and a really bright pink lip pencil as long as you blend it really well so overlapping the colours using a brush to go in and blend everything like I'm going to do with the black it's just going to look really nice and blended and ombre so you can do it with any colours that you want and if you have found that there are certain areas which are a bit intense you can then go in with the sort of transition shade which was the darker shade and then of course just to finish it off with a little bit more red. And there you go. And obviously it has made the ombre even more intense as such. It is obviously darker than what it was. But it does also give you like a gorgeous blend of shades. So it goes from darkest to like a red and then back to dark again. But it looks blended and it looks... Um, like you could wear it out, it's not like wearing black lipstick or something. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is the orange and I'm going in with a clean um, lipstick brush. And I'm basically going to apply this to this middle section of my lips. You don't have to be particularly neat with this colour. but you just want to make sure that the sort of inside of your lips is done. 
Okay, so I'm now going to go in with the red and the orange shade that I use is Tequila Sunrise from Gerard Cosmetics and the red I'm using is Fire Engine from Gerard Cosmetics. I'm now going in with the red on that same um, lip brush but I'm going to use it as if I would be lining my lips. I haven't gone too overboard with how much I've applied because I just want to get the line in first. Again, I'm filling in those corners of my lips, just on the sort of sides of my lips in towards the middle. So that you want to be the deepest colour, well that's what I like personally. And I like the colour to sort of connect all the way around the lips, I don't like the lighter shade all the way up and the lighter shade all the way up because I don't think it blends as nicely. But what I'm doing now is just cleaning that ready pink <laughs> shade off my brush, it is more pink. And I'm just going back in with the orange and this is just going to help blend the colours together. And I'm just sort of patting this colour over the line of where they meet and it just blends all of it together. And that is how I tend to do an ombre with a lipstick. You can see obviously this one is a little bit more subtle than what the lip liner was because I wasn't using as dark as shades. Um, I could have built the red up a lot more to create a more um, starker contrast but I quite like how subtle this is. And that's what I tend to do when sort of every day if I want to um, experiment with the ombre lip. It's just so subtle and it just gives your lips just a little bit more plumpness because there are different um, shades going on if that makes sense. Um, it just adds a little bit more dimension to your lips because it's making it look like shadows. It's kind of like contouring and highlighting your lips. And the last ombre lip I'm going to do today is with liquid lipsticks and I'm going to use a selection of pinks from my Anastasia Beverly Hills collection. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is the sort of medium shade. I'm going to use three colours with this one just to give it like an even like bolder contrast if that makes sense and this shade is just going to go all where that um, orange shade did on my last lip so it's going to go mostly over the lip but especially in that inner area and with a more um, liquid lipstick, you do have to work a little bit quicker. So I'm now, after I apply that, I'm not going to wait for it to dry. I'm now going to go in with the deepest shade. And I'm going to use this brush to line my lips. So I'm going to use this dark shade all around my lip. And if it overlaps with that pink shade, that's fine. I'm going to fill in the corners of your lips again. So you want to clean your brush again and then you want to again go in with that transition shade. And we're literally just going to be applying it where we applied it already but we're going to be patting over any areas that overlap with that dark pink. When I am working with liquid lipsticks I tend to spend a lot more time perfecting them compared to a lip liner or a lipstick because you do need to work with the product. Um, they dry uh, pretty damn quick and they can be a little bit unreliable so you just want to keep going in blending it making sure everything's blending and looking okay but you do want to spend extra time when doing this. So I'm now going in with the lightest pink and I'm going to be patting this on the real center of my lips so on my bottom lip and also on my top and again you can just go in with that transition shade and just blend everything together. So that is how I create all kinds of ombre lips. I do it with all different formulas, all different styles, all different colours, everything. You can literally pick any two different colours and create an ombre lip. So you could do a red and a purple, you could do a red and a blue, blue and a purple, anything like that. You're going to get a ombre lip if you apply it in the certain ways that I showed you. So applying the colour like on my lips now, I've got the dark pink around the outside and then a lighter wash of pink in the middle. 
that is still an ombre pink. I could have done it with any colour and you can do it with any colour. So I really hope you enjoyed learning some tips on how I create my ombre lips, whether I use lip liners, lipsticks or um, even liquid lipsticks. One thing that I didn't show was the fact that over the top of your lipstick or liquid lipstick you can go in with a liner pencil, a lip liner or an eyeliner and you can create an ombre over the top. You don't have to stick to the same formula so you don't only have to use lip pencils, you don't only have to use lipsticks, you can mix and match any formula to create an ombre lip. So I hope you learn a few things in this tutorial. Thank you ever so much for watching as always and I will talk to you all very soon.